welcome back now the URL which we have created uh, inside our blog app so for that let's quickly write a views and if you remember correctly in our terminal we have the error uh, attribute error right so let's open the views.py and inside views.py you have uh, only one line of code uh, from Django dot shortcuts import render and it's you can create your views here right so let's write a function dev post list so basically this post list is nothing but the post list uh, views which we have written in our URL of the blog app so in case if you would like to change this post list to something else feel free to uh, write your own views and what whatever you write here make sure you are writing the same views here right and uh, request and return render request and request a template uh, let's define a template name post list dot html and return an empty dictionary initially right so this is how you can define your views for the uh, particular URL and now if you can open the terminal uh, see we haven't did anything the error gone and uh, you can see the term uh, server is running so if you browse the uh, so you can see uh, uh, browse in browser you have an error call template does not exist at blog uh, slash post list underscore HTML that mean to say uh, now if I'm browsing through the browser and going to the home page so what it uh, does is the request from the browser goes to the URL which URL basically the URL of the project right and from the project URL the request goes to the apps URL and inside apps URL the project URL sees yes there is a URL for us and from the apps URL the request goes to the views.py inside the app and inside views the URL see there is a function written for the URL and then it says render blog which is basically nothing I mean this is basically a folder name and inside blog folder post underscore list dot HTML so but when the system is not finding this particular HTML file that is the reason you have this particular error template does not exist so what we need to do is now quickly we need to create a HTML file inside our blog application so to do that what we need to do is inside our blog app let's create a folder called templates uh, let's create a folder called templates and inside that particular template let's create another folder called blog and inside that blog let's create another folder uh, not folder a file called uh, post underscore list dot HTML so if you do that uh, and uh, save this particular HTML file and now if you refresh the browser it says template does not exist uh, so what probably we need to do is let's close the server and run the server once again and refresh this page so the error gone and you can see the blank page now now let's say if we are uh, writing some uh, you know the content over here hello Django and refresh this browser once again so you can see the template uh, the text is coming here wow great amazing so what we need to do is we need to start uh, 
writing our template since we have already know uh, you know seen the bootstrap right so thank you so much for watching this screencast see you in the next one and we will configure the django templates